In 1778, two Irish gentlewomen put on men's clothes and ran away together. Lady Eleanor Butler had received several offerings of marriage, but was determined to share her life with her friend Sarah Ponsonby. They spent the rest of their lives in a black and white house called Place Nuid, outside of Langolan, cultivating their garden, improving their minds, and filling the house with clocks, cabinets, and whirligigs of every shape and hue. They also had a little dog called Sappho. Ha! Friend! They literally named their dog Sappho. Oh, it's a, it's a Jesus and the... Oh, John Judas, I'm getting real close there, huh, Judas? Oh my god, they were roommates. Carving trans into every bone of my body so when they find my skeleton in 200 years, they don't get confused. We must be careful not to jump to conclusions about what these ancient carvings might have meant. This individual could have had a passion for mass transit, transcontinental travel, or a combination of poor spelling and a love for trance music. <laughs> you go, Brooke. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mispronounce this one, I'm sorry. Friendly reminder that Elegabalus was trans, and history is more queer than they teach you in schools. More wigs, makeup, and women's clothes removed all body and facial hair, referred to herself as the wife and queen of Heracles, her chariot driver and husband, preferred to be called lady over lord, and repeatedly requested doctors give her genital reconstructive surgery. Historical figure is queer. Historians, doesn't every cis male call themselves lady? Doesn't every cis? <laughs> uh. Making breakfast with your best friend. <laughs> Holy heck, this cereal is good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Street men of Reddit who accidentally downloaded Grinder and accidentally hooked up with another guy and, and had adult fun time. What's your story? <laughs> Nine ways to tell if your friend is a best friend. First date. Hundredth date. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> the best of friends. <laughs> Here's to one seriously badass couple. This hashtag National Boyfriend Day. Hashtag Borderlands 3. I just blocked that out. <laughs> to me, they're just friends with no family left, and thanks for not going too in-depth on their relationship, making people uncomfortable. Well done. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, you're terrible. <laughs> oh no, you're part of the problem. <laughs> Bella smooch with gal, pal. <laughs> Bella Thorne makes out with 19-year-old Tana Mangu on Hawaiian Beach. Oh, it's a couple of gal pals. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris, awesome speech. Aww. Please read the description. You might find it handy. FAQ. His wife looks like a dude. His wife looks like a dude. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Me and my bestie in 10 years when we convince each other to leave our husbands and move in together. <laughs> 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 There's a couple of besties. <laughs> I personally love this duet with Luca and Miku. <laughs> I know that this is a romantic song originally, but in my personal perspective, it looks like the song of friendship with a silly best friends forever twist to it. <laughs> They're it like lesbians, Harold. Two male lions pictured mating while Lioness looks on. Ross Bridges, a 42-year-old amateur photographer who took the shots of the lions enjoying themselves, said, There are two males and a female in that pride. One of the lions suddenly got up, walked over, and jumped on his friend's back. He added, according to the male online. <laughs> <laughs> jumped on his friend's back. Oh, just a couple of guy pals. <laughs> and they were gay. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> homies for life. Thanks for saving my butt, homie. <laughs> Me and my homie always get into trouble. I got you, homie. <laughs> but I'm always there for her. We're inseparable. Homies for life. We got married and we're still homies. I love you, homie. <laughs> Me too, homie. And one of our friends just said, um, congrats? <laughs> My dad just realized that the apartment his unmarried aunt has been living in for the past 20 years with her best friend, Irene, has one bedroom. He's so confused. Does Irene sleep on the couch? She's 83. She shouldn't be sleeping on the couch. 
<laughs> I know we had this post in an r slash suddenly gay video, or it was one of the Tuesday gay or Thursday gay videos, and it's, oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. <laughs> this is a brother's world. Hmm. <laughs> just a couple bros broing it out. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover. Gay or just a man who has sex with men? Hmm. All right. This is important. Anyone is looking to travel? I'll just I'll just read through this. Gay and lesbian travelers. Homosexual acts, including kissing, are illegal in Morocco and carry a potential jail term of up to three years and or a fine. Moroccan authorities have recently shown an increased tendency to prosecute. Lesbians shouldn't encounter any problems, though it's commonly believed by Moroccans that there are no lesbians in their country. <sighs> if anyone asks why pride parades are so important, it's because while we may enjoy some rights here, not everyone does everywhere. But the comedy in this post is that Moroccans believe that there are no lesbians in their country. <laughs> Just a bunch of gal pals. Just <laughs> This is really interesting. If anyone would like to take the time to read through this, I would recommend it. Head of a bull. Watercolor and graphite on cream wove paper. Gift of John Hill Morgan. Rosa Bonheur's closely observed animal paintings made her one of the most commercially successful artists in the mid-19th century France. Though not identified with a particular finished oil painting, this watercolor sketch of a bull is typically the kind of preparatory study she made directly from nature. Throughout her lifetime, Bonheur defied norms for women's behavior. She wore masculine attire and lived with another woman, Nathalie Mikos, for 40 years, writing, Had I been a man, I would have married her. I would have had a family with my children as heirs, and nobody would have had any right to complain. The kissing habit, said Dr. Davis, is terrible enough when it is confined to lovers, but in recent years the custom has extended throughout feminine society, most particularly girls in colleges. The conference somehow drew the conclusion that Dr. Davis had got his knife into girls' colleges. To listen to him, everybody might have thought that American students, particularly those between the ages of 13 and 30, were kissing all day and well into the night. They kiss each other during the day, and they kiss again at night. They kiss without rhyme or reason, and at the slightest provocation. The kissing devotion of the average American college girl, continued Dr. Davis, warning to his subject, exceeds that of all lovers of fact or fiction. Students have kissed most alarmingly, grip epidemics throughout many of our largest female seminaries and universities. It is high time doctors should speak out to save the educated fair sex from kissing their lives away by transmitting tuberculosis and fever bacilli. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my parents. Gay people didn't exist when we were kids. Homosexuality has actually appeared in novels and culture for centuries. It was just masked by big business until 1990s. <laughs> go, go, gay, bad. Aww. We're sharing Jennifer's inspiring love story with this hashtag Valentine's Day, so watch this space. I didn't think I would ever have a wedding. Um, why is she holding her... <laughs> oh, vegan Megan. Vegan Megan? <laughs> Why is she holding her bridesmaid? Where is her husband? Um, <coughs> lesbian wedding. Haha, <coughs> <laughs> really didn't know the husband doesn't get invited to Lebanese weddings. Interesting tradition. I <laughs> This has to be a troll. <laughs> Come on. Come on, vegan vegan. Come on now. <laughs> Hundreds of love letters between two gay World War II soldiers were discovered and sold to a museum. One of them said, Wouldn't it be wonderful if all of our letters could be published in the future in a more enlightened time? Then all the world could see how in love we are. They are now being made into a book. Well, at least sometimes history's getting it right. Ah, heck. Professor states that Romans only officially defined marriage as between a man and a woman. But... She continues to say that this is only because marriage was to produce children and not necessarily to show love. Explains that same-sex relationships are frequently documented. Adds that a lack of writing about lesbians doesn't necessarily mean it was non-existent because of how Romans viewed women in general. 
also explains that while the Romans recorded their views of gender as binary, doesn't mean that trans people didn't exist during that time. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> My beardos and weirdos, amazing. I, I love this subreddit. If you haven't followed it yet, absolutely do it. Sappho and her friend is amazing. A lot of good humor, a lot of sobering moments, but at least people who are recognizing these moments are taking them in stride. <laughs> all of you are some powerful people out there, and I think you're all amazing. <laughs> all right, my beardos and weirdos, thank you for joining us on another fantastic video. I say us, but it's really, it's just me here. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Where, oh, and also hit me up in the comments and let me know what you want to see done next. And also, if you haven't, um, I guess maybe consider subscribing to the channel because I, I think that's awesome. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos, we'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. Thank you to all of my beardos and weirdos who are supporting the channel on Patreon. Some of their names are on screen now. And I want to take a few moments to shout out a few more. Megan RB, Lawn Disorder, Amosa Hyena, Danny Amy, and Rini Seal. Philip Stoppel, Sam, Juliana, I'll Show Myself Out, Avery, Daniel Majic, Phoebia, Phoebia, Kristen, Sam 2.0, Hunter Rosenshine, Roseanne Tiggleman, Percy, Ross Vegas, James Siegel, Nerd Counselor, Kate, Ren, Skoogs, Feline, AJ Whitworth, John Canisto, Melissa Mabe, Sasha, Don Princey 99, Cac Theo, Jonesy, Litzy, F. Yard, Astanu, Lord Gorgok, Fred Gomez, Catwolf, Brandon, Astrodomo4, Refkos, Mr. Big, Trey Atkins, and Don Maples. Deanna Davies. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. I think all of you are fantastic people, and I feel truly grateful to have you on board in this journey. I'll keep making videos that I hope you all enjoy. And if you're not yet a patron, you're more than welcome to join on board. <laughs> all right, my beardos and weirdos. I'll see you later. We're at... Uh, 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 bye.